if you want to be able to enter a date and then get, for example, the average of that date in the previous week, so the equivalent of this, where if we do an average, we say, if we put the 9th of April, I want that average, we can achieve that with an average ifs. So I'm going to use the function wizard. Now keep in mind there's average if, we want the ifs, the plural. So the first thing it asks is where, where's the eventual numbers I'm going to average. I'm going to highlight that section there and put my dollar signs on. Notice when I click on criteria range one, criteria one appears. Now I prefer to do it this way. So I'm going to click on criteria one, give it the criteria, and then I'll tell it where the range is. So the criteria here, I know it must start on that date and be the previous seven days. So the first thing we're going to say, I'm going to put inverted commas, less than and equal to inverted commas, and then I'm going to say and, and I'm going to point at that cell there. So what is, this is telling Excel is look for where the date is less than or equal to the date we're on. Excel still needs to know where to look for that. So I'm going to go and highlight that section. And again, I'm going to use F4, put the dollar signs on everywhere. Criteria range 2 now. I've told it to look at less than, but obviously it can't go more than 7 days past. It's a weekly average. So I'm going to go to the criteria range, put inverted commas, bigger than, inverted commas, and whatever that date is, but minus seven. So if you look carefully, you'll see it says it's bigger than, and that number is seven days. Again, where must it look for it? Criteria range, can highlight that, and using F4, put my dollar signs on. When I say okay, you'll see it gives me the same number there, but the benefit now is I can copy it down and I can put any date in here. So there we've done 10th of April, there's 10th of April. Can highlight the previous seven days. You'll see it comes to 574.26, 574.26.